All right, so this, in this tutorial, we're going to go over insulation. And insulation, there's various types of insulation. We kind of went over that in class. You might want to look up the various types of insulation. Um, definitely look up the most common insulations. Look up eco-friendly insulations. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let's, let's build some insulation. Um, I suppose the easiest way you can do this is probably create rectangles. Um, and then um, well, I don't know if that'll work. Let's let's try this together. We'll probably do this. Dang. There we go. I don't know why that did not. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Move control. No. Let's try this here. There we go. So maybe not the inside, but definitely the outside. All right. So that's the easiest way to do it. And then I'm going to move this here out on the outside uh, let's delete that uh, do the same here so from this corner to this corner select uh, let's make a copy of this and again we'll move it on the green i probably should move both at the same time that way what I'm about to do will make more sense. There we go. And in fact, let's, since we got a pattern going, let's do this. So the rectangle tool is the letter R. And I'm going to select. Hold down shift and then M control to copy. And I'm just going to move this out on the green. And let's just move this out 30 feet because it'll be easier to move back once uh, it's all said and done. So I'm going to pull this out um, the width of that 2x4. And if you remember the width of the 2x4, 2.5 inches. And this will be our insulation. So, um, go ahead and well, let's make this a component. Oh, let's just do it like this. Probably should have just did one at a time, but that's okay. And there we go. A component installation. And I'll do the same over here. My component. All right, let's delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. All right. So within these components, uh, I'm just going to change this a little bit. I'm going to show you how to use the brush tool. Uh, and the brush tool is the letter B. 
and you can go right over here. We can change anything to whatever we want. There's different materials. Um, I suggest just stick to colors. Um, normally there's more colors here. I wonder what happened. Oh, here's colors. Oh, we'll just use this, and this will be the standard color of fiberglass. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this as well. This should be the same colors. Probably should have got the bottoms as well. There we go. Double click on that. Brush. Do the same. There we go. And now only do it on this um, for now. Because the more um, the more you start adding um, textures and paints and stuff like that the more it slows sketch up down and you are going to be in a world of hurt so i'm going to move this back into the model where it's supposed to be and oops, i think i moved it back a little too much there we go and there you see the insulation done on that side so i'm going to copy this so m control and let's just do that i don't know 15 times see what that fills up obviously we don't need all of it so we delete that there we go And just kind of treat this like how we did the others, where you just right click, load, right click, make component, uh, and then again, right click, uh, explode, right click, make component. And then that way, when we go to you know, um, do something with this, like delete what we don't need. Oop, excuse me. There we go. Let's just delete this line work over here. And right there. And now I'm just going to push pull this up here. Oop. Careful. All right, push pull this up to there. There we go. Done with that. Let's just double click on this. Might as well do this one. There we go. Delete that. And that's pretty much it. You just have to uh, 
go through and individually um, customize the areas of the openings. So like I'm done with that one. Again, I'd have to come over here and do the same with this. So explode a component. I'm not going to relabel it. So just double click inside. Push pull. There we go. Do the same up here. Push pull. This one, explode a component, double click inside, push pull, this one. Do the same. Um, explode. This one I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna intersect faces with model. And See, let's do that again. Intersect faces of model. It's not quite. There we go. So I'm just push pull this one. On face, on face, there we go. That, pull that up, and race. So I'm going to select this, delete that, do the same here, here, Oop. There go. I'm gonna delete that. And you see I'm just cleaning things up because you know, it looks like a mess. Um, here. To here, yeah, let's delete that. Let's do this. So, all I'm doing is just making rectangles to kind of separate things and clean things up. I probably should have did it a different way, but that's okay. I'll fix that over here. So, explode, learn from your mistakes, make components, hit OK, and then double click inside, select everything first. Now hit intersect phases of the model. So, um, let's see, did it do it? Not quite. So, this is what I would like. Make a rectangle from here to here, and then push pull all the way. On face, there we go. Uh, then you can erase this. 
and then do the same over here rectangle from here to here push pull um, on face and then erase right there um, you do this rectangle here select delete there you have it push pull to there erase that looks good perfect and then go over here and do the same I guess I don't need that right there, so I'll just delete that. And there you have it. Um, I'll probably need to do um, a uh, custom one here because this is not the same size. So I'll just repeat the same process, make these rectangles. And move it out in the green. Let's do 30 feet. Actually, let's not do 30 feet. Let's do 30. Let's do 40 feet. I don't want it too close. To the other one. Push pull. Three point five inches there we go uh, let's paint these paint this I really make it look like the actual material. Select it, make a component. Insufficient three. Don't need that no more. And then let's go ahead and delete that. Delete that. And let's grab a copy of this. Control. Move it on the green. 40 feet. And then move it back. And there you have it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and do the other side. Um, but it's pretty much the same process over and over again. Okay, so uh, by the end of this, uh, you know, your insulation should be, your wall should look like this, filled with insulation. Now, I just wanna note that your electrical, your plumbing should all be done prior to your insulation being installed. Uh, we obviously in this project didn't do electrical or plumbing um, for obvious reasons. Uh, you know, we're not going to get that far into this um, into detail, uh, but um, just letting you know that before an actual project um, construction project was to occur, that electrical and plumbing were or is to be put in the walls before installation. That's the that's the process. But your wall should look like this when it's all said and done, filled with the um, installation. I should be able to go to your file and and move one each one of these and see that it's you know there's insulation coming out of the walls, just like that. And that's it. That's how you do installation. Uh, 
again, remember to take uh, pictures for your slides and add the information about all the different installations um, for your slides. And there you go.